5D Mark II did back in 2008. Let's go straight into the key features. In the heart of the EOS R5 lies a brand new 45 meg With a resolution that is near medium format territory, it is more than capable of handling any kind of commercial demands and applications. Be it a large advertising billboard, a studio print, or for wildlife photographers who often need to crop images significantly. To put it into context, the EOS R5 has 50% more pixels than both the EOS 5D Mark IV or the EOS R. This is a significant jump in pixel density. The EOS 5D series was often associated with being an all-rounded camera that is capable of performing in almost any kind of scenarios. Well, almost any kind. Except for maybe sports and high-speed action scenes. The EOS R5 raises the bar further by putting the camera right at the same level with some of the fastest cameras in the market, including the EOS 1DX Mark III. Armed with the latest DigiX image processor, which is the same processor we first saw in the EOS 1DX Mark III, the EOS R5 is able to achieve up to 20 frames per second continuous shooting with electronic shutter. Mechanical shutter is also available with up to 12 frames per second. All this can be accomplished with full AF and AE tracking and at full 45 megapixels resolution. Being fast is one thing but the ability to sustain shooting at this speed is another. The camera's buffer coupled with the new CF Express card allows the EOS R5 to have a burst rate of up to 180 raw images. This means you can shoot full resolution raw images continuously at 20 frames per second for nine seconds. The new image processor also opens up a whole new world of opportunities with its noise reduction capabilities. Canon has always taken the approach of trying to achieve the best balance between resolution and noise level. With the EOS R5, despite a whopping 45 million pixels, the native ISO is an incredible 51,200, with an option to expand to 100 and 2,400. And despite having 50% more pixels than the EOS R, the noise level of the EOS R5 is clearly superior. This is an amazing achievement in engineering. One of the major improvements in the EOS R5 over Canon's assisting mirrorless full-frame cameras is the autofocusing technology. Now, the autofocus capability of the EOS R is already outstanding in the first place, as the incorporation of eye detection AF and tracking improvements had placed the EOS R's focusing capability right among the best in the enthusiast market. Dual pixel CMOS AF which is the core AF technology for Canon, has now gone through a revolutionary upgrade. We call it Dual Pixel CMOS AF 2. This upgrade has brought about significant improvements in autofocus on many fronts. The autofocus coverage has improved from 90% horizontal by 100% vertical to 100% horizontal by 100% vertical. This full coverage means that the autofocusing is available on any part of the frame. Not only has the coverage expanded, the sheer number of AF points in the EOS R5 has increased to an astounding 1,053. To put this in perspective, this number is twice that of EOS 1DX Mark III and a mind-blowing seven times more than what you have in the EOS R. This greatly enhances the camera's ability to track subjects precisely. Manually selectable AF positions is now at 5,940. This is 1.5 times. Then of the EOS 1DX Mark III. We first saw the AF priority mode for people in the EOS 1DX Mark III. And this gave the camera the ability to prioritize human subjects during tracking. With the EOS R5, Enhancements has been made through deep learning technologies to not only recognize human subjects, but animals as well. The AF priority mode for animals now allows the camera to recognize not just the body, but also the face and eyes of animals, such as dogs, cats, and birds. This is a remarkable feature, especially for bird photography. Here is an example of how the AF tracks the eye of the bird persistently despite the bird moving around in an irregular fashion. 
Wildlife photographers will be happy to know that AF is still available, even when the aperture is as small as f22. And a high-resolution electronic viewfinder will maintain the brightness with clarity. Now, I will touch a little bit more on this later. Next. It's a key feature which is available in an EOS camera for the very first time. In-body image stabilization. The EOS R5 provides a 5-axis image stabilization and up to 8 stops of shutter speed. This works in tandem with lens-based IS to provide the most optimal stabilization across all focal length. Technically speaking, camera-based sensor shift IS works better for wide angle while lens-based lens shift IS works better for the telephoto range. This coordinated control between the EOS R5 sensor shift IS and the lens IS results in an optimized stabilization from wide to intermediate to telephoto range. But of course, even when a non-IS lens is used with the EOS R5, a stabilization effect of up to 8 stops of shutter speed can still be achieved. To give you an idea on how useful this is, you can technically handhold for up to 2 seconds when using a lens with a focal length of 100mm without a tripod and still achieve a sharp image with fluid motion of the water. This opens up a tremendous amount of opportunities to shoot long exposures in night scenes, waterfalls and even fireworks without having to use a tripod. The beauty of the large RF mount is such that despite the sensor moving, the mount still allows light to reach the entire image sensor, thus maintaining the best quality possible. And not forgetting, all these benefits can be enjoyed not just during stills photography, but during video recording as well. Now, let's talk a little on the connectivity. The EOS R5 has the most advanced in-camera wireless features ever released in a Canon camera. It supports both 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz wireless LAN without any additional accessory. A first for Canon. FTP and FTPS is supported as well, and this means photographers can easily transfer image data from the camera to a smart device, PC, or even FTP server. If you require even faster speed, or as FTP with secured LAN, the optional WFT R10 is available. It comes with 2x2 MIMO and wired LAN for faster and more stable connections. The EOS R5 is also one of the first cameras to work fully with the new Image.Canon Cloud platform. Once configured with a Wi-Fi connection established, the camera can automatically upload image and video files and store them in the Image.Canon Cloud for up to 30 days with no limit in size. This includes original RAW files and 8K movies as well. You can even configure Image.Canon to automatically transfer original image data to various third-party platforms such as Google Photos, Google Drive, or Adobe Creative Cloud. All these connectivity features in the EOS R5 will potentially enhance the workflow of photographers, making lives of many a lot easier. The EOS R5 inherits some of the best features from within the EOS family in terms of durability. It has a magnesium alloy body and has the same level of dust and drip resistant capability as the EOS 5D Mark IV. Shutter durability has been increased to the same level as the EOS 1D X Mark III at 500,000 cycles. To top it off, the EOS R5 shutter curtain can be configured to close or remain open whenever the camera is powered off, a very useful feature to prevent dust from entering the sensor chamber when changing lenses. In terms of usability, you have a 2.1 million dot, 3.2 inch very angle touchscreen LCD. Canon is known to have the best implementation of touchscreen in the industry, so you will be able to enjoy full touchscreen convenience during shooting, as well as assessing the camera menu. The electronic viewfinder comes with an incredible 5.76 million dots, providing outstanding clarity when viewing through it. This also means that this new viewfinder is 1.5 times higher in resolution compared to the EOS R. On top of a higher resolution, the display refresh rate is now at 119.88 or 59.94 frames per second, easily twice that of the EOS R. This improvement in display smoothness will help enhance the experience, especially during the tracking of moving subjects. After listening to feedback on the EOS R, we decided 
to bring back the multi controller and the quick control down. This will greatly improve the way photographers operate the camera, especially in terms of switching AF points and changing of settings. Next, the EOS R5 comes with a new battery, which is around 15% higher in capacity compared to LPE6N, allowing up to 700 shots when you shoot in echo mode. You will be happy to know that the EOS R5 is also compatible with existing LPE6N and LPE6 batteries. Earlier, we shared that the camera is capable of shooting up to 20 frames per second at full resolution. One of the reasons is the inclusion of a new storage media, the CF Express card. This card media is the future of high-speed data transfer and it's also one of the reasons the camera is able to shoot 8K videos. Other than the CF Express card slot, the EOS R5 also has an SD card slot, supporting cards with UHS-2 speed. An optional battery grid, BGR10, is also available, which can hold up to two batteries and make vertical shooting a lot more easier. The EOS R6 is the next camera we are introducing. This camera is basically very similar to the EOS R5, and both cameras share a lot of common features, including AF system, continuous shooting speed, in-body stabilization, and many more. We've heard earlier about the EOS R5, so now, Let's take a look at what is different instead. Sensor-wise, the EOS R6 comes with a 20 megapixel full-frame sensor. It would not be wrong to say that this is almost the same sensor found in EOS 1DX Mark III. Coupled with the DigiX image processor, the EOS R6 inherits the outstanding ISO performance we've seen in the EOS 1DX Mark III. Native ISO goes up to 100 and 2400 and expandable to 200 and 4,800. Autofocus is almost identical on both cameras, but the EOS R6 surpasses the EOS R5 in terms of low light sensitivity. For the first time, the EOS R6 is able to focus down to EV-6.5, a notch higher than the EV-6 in the EOS R5. Connectivity-wise, the EOS R6 supports only the 2.4 GHz wireless band but retains the same FTP function nonetheless. Another difference is the media type. The EOS R6 has dual memory card slots, but both are SD cards instead of the CF Express and SD in the EOS R5. Aesthetics-wise, you can hardly tell both cameras apart, with both of them sharing the same buttons and dials. What sets the EOS R6 apart is that it has a mode down in place of an LCD panel. This allows quick switching between various camera modes that most EOS users are familiar with. There you have it. A quick run through of the stills photo functions of the EOS R5 and EOS R6. Next, I'll hand it over to Yi Zi, who will share more in detail on the video features for both cameras. Hello everyone. I'm Yi Zi, a technical specialist for professional video and broadcast products at Canon Singapore and I'm here today to unveil the highly anticipated video features of the EOS R5 and R6, Canon's newest generation of mirrorless cameras with a strong emphasis on video production. Kicking things off with the R5, if you have not been following our development updates, here are the features that promise us to propel this camera directly into your current and future productions. We start off with the headline feature, the R5 is a mirrorless camera capable of recording 8K resolution at up to 30 frames per second utilizing the entire width of the sensor. This is groundbreaking, unlocking 8K full frame capabilities at an enthusiast price point. Benefits of 8K include high resolution for better detailing in the footage, as well as giving the ability to crop in post-production even for 4K delivery. If resolution isn't a priority for you, what about high frame rates? You asked for it and here it is. The R5 is capable of recording up to 120 frames per second uncropped in 4K resolution. We certainly hope that is enough for you. This emphasis on image quality does not stop at resolution and frame rates of course. The R5 records in a variety of file formats including RAW, H.265 HEVC and H.264 MP4 in either RI or IPB compression. 
Canon Log is also available alongside 10-bit 422 recording. Due to the high specification of 8K video and 4K high frame rates, the EOS R5 is equipped with a CF Express Type B card slot for those data-rich 8K files and intro frame recordings, while an SD card slot that supports UHS-2 standard is utilized for IPB recordings is also present as mentioned previously. Moving on to its sister model, the R6. This is a lower priced option with an emphasis on the value proposition. The EOS R6 uses the same 20 megapixel sensor as Canon's flagship EOS 1DX Mark III. And instead of shooting 8K like its elder brother, the R5, the R6 shoots 4K at up to 60 frames per second. It is also capable of slow motion at 120 frames per second in full HD resolution. Both of these specifications are uncropped using the entire width of the sensor. As this camera shares the same sensor as the 1DX Mark III, its main strengths are its low light performance due to its large photo sites, as well as its blazing fast speed. Canon log recording is also included in the camera. The R6 has dual SD card slots that support the UHS-2 standard as it records in IPB recording formats only. The full list of recording options for both cameras and the memory types required are available on our website, so please do check it out. In the production world, resolution and image quality are only parts of the picture in the production process. The R5 and R6 both have integrated certain common key features to improve the shooting experience and increase efficiency during production. The first of these features is of course sensor-based image stabilization. This works independently of lenses, allowing your older, non-IS lenses to also benefit from this feature. In addition to that, all Canon EF and RF lenses, which have lens-based IS built-in, will also work in tandem with the sensor-based IS system in the EOS R5 and R6, giving you the best of both worlds. Due to the large diameter of the RF mount, the sensor has an image stabilizing system that allows for even light distribution on the sensor, ensuring better image quality at the peripheral of the image. With the mirrorless debut of 8K recording in the EOS R5, critical sharp focus is more important than ever. Canon's dual pixel autofocus has been improved in its coverage of the frame. Apart from that, new upgrades in terms of eye and animal AF will allow for better autofocus and tracking results for various subjects. And for those of us who prefer a little traditional manual focus action, dual pixel focus guide is present to help you along, giving you visual markings on the screen to assist for those difficult focus pooling scenarios. And speaking of traditions, cinematographers need and love a variety of lens choices, and the RF mount is perfectly capable of satisfying that requirement.